about money. They don't talk to each other about money a lot of times, and then the parents definitely don't talk to their kids. So the kids come prepped with that information. One of the reasons that we did those two questions, especially the first one, is that can you imagine what percentage of our kids actually come because they're thrown into the program? How many of you think that there's more that way? Yes. We address it right off the bat. How many of you were made to come here? How many of you came because you wanted to? So for those of you that had to come, you're going to be here anyway. Whose job is it to get something out of this? You can either choose to be miserable, or you can choose to be happy and just be here and learn something. And then that's what you have to pay when you're living on your own. What do you have to pay? Bills. Yeah, turn around. What do you see? Bills. 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 Yeah. We call those expenses. What do we call them? Expenses. Expenses. Now, when you get paid, you're going to get your paycheck. What are you going to get? Paycheck. And then you're going to go pay your expenses. All of the expenses are mandatory. What are they? Mandatory. In this game, they're mandatory. You cannot get married and live together. Piddly crap. Piddly crap. Wow, what is on piddly crap? We ought to 
read it, Debbie. What song could they cut? Clothes, shoes, video games, iPod, music downloads, movies, car accessories, jewelry, bike accessories, computer software, eating out two times a week, coffee drinks one a day, juice drinks one a day, and other. How many of you spend at least $10 a week on piddly crap? Yeah, well, More next, later, I'm going to show you, we're going to show you how, why, why you may not want to do that anymore. You know, you have two of those guys? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. But just in case they, you know, okay. get through and then really decide they want to. So, are all the bags mandatory? Yes. yes. Which one's optional? Billy crap. Billy crap is the only optional bag. You must pay all of your expenses. So once upon a time, there was a farmer. Was it farmer. 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 And oh, he worked so hard. He tilled the fields day and night. night. Every day he would get up and he would work from sun up to sun, yeah. tilling the fields day and night. night. One day he was so tired, he decided to go for a walk. And he walked along, and there in the ditch, was a great big old fat goose, and the goose had a broken arm. So big, aww. aww. In the chicken coop, do you know what he finds? He finds a golden egg. Show me the golden egg. Oh my God! He shows. He, he has no. He thinks maybe it's fake. So he goes and he gets an axe and he hits it. And he can't break it, and sure enough, it's gold. Oh my God! He does this little dance. It goes like it goes. I reach, I reach, I reach. <laughs> what does he do? I reach, I reach, I reach. Right now, the only one that they know, or the one that is the most uh, prevalent, is go to school, get good grades, go to college, get good grades, get a good steady job. Well, the fact is, there's a huge percentage of our population that never graduates from high school. We talked about that. There's a huge percentage of kids that are dropping out of college because of what? Because of money, exactly. College kids right now do the debt. And the one story I read said that they walked in and here's that the kid had hung himself on the ceiling and below him he laid out all his credit card bills. That was why he killed himself. You know? And back to my point was this is a this is where we want to take kids. We want to show them that they can be the bosses, the 24 the four hour working things. That it's lucky you don't have to do this. There's nothing sacred about getting a college degree. Okay, so tell me about the delivery method. Um, the de I've looked at so many programs, and the material is the material. When you have a short amount of time with kids, it's it's important to get as much information as possible that they can take with them, not just throw at them. So this is fun, engaging. The time flies by. We play games. We laugh more than I laugh in my daily life, and it's just sticky. It just sticks there, and you take it with you and um, and kids leave having the best experience. In my classroom, at the end of the year, I ask the kids, you know, what was the, the best part of the year? And they all say when they learned about finance, um, we just have fun. And I've taken that, that way of teaching into my classroom, and we have fun all the time. It's the most amazing thing you've learned that you can put into your personal life. Paying myself first and investing, I have always saved. My mom told me to save at an early age, saved, but I haven't done anything with the savings. And I've always believed in that. It's saved away for a rainy day. And so then there was Europe and there was school and there was meeting people and doing things and savings get smaller and smaller. So investing that savings rather than just having it sit there at such a minimal interest rate that it's not doing anything for my future. This process, this program, has been a life-changing experience. Um, I simply was looking for just some general information and I got so much more. It's personal, it's professional growth, and I will be a different person because of it. Cool. Actually, that's good. That's perfect. Yeah.